do viruses want to kill people? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so once you've got this idea that you've got, you know, parasites, essentially, taking advantage of a replica yeah. system, then what advan- the advantage of that parasite, you know, what will cause, what will cause viruses to succeed, as it were? Obviously, they're not, they're not thinking, they're not making a decision about what would work. <laughs> But you're going to see the most virus in a situation where they replicate the most. That's that's all it's about. It's just being able to replicate them. It, it's it's simple survival of the fittest, isn't it? It's sim- yeah. simple Darwinian evolution. Yeah. Well, so it's just simply they are there because they succeeded in replicating. So right. what gets them to succeed in replicating? Well, infecting lots of people works, and then those people infecting other people. That's all. It, the, the, the more infections is what it's all about when you're a virus, and you don't want to kill the host or you don't want to make them really sick because a virus that makes a host really sick won't be as spready because they'll stop breathing and they'll be it, it, it'll kill the pa- patient it'll kill them, yeah, yeah. and that what's interesting is that a lot of respiratory viruses have got a temperature trigger in their genetic makeup so that when they're too warm they switch off and they stop replicating and what that means is that they stay in the upper airways where they can replicate and if they go too far into the lungs they stop replicating because they don't want to, or they don't want to, I know, giving them, making them <laughs> yeah. animated again. But yeah. you know, if they were to cause lung damage and heart damage and go systemic, then there's a risk of killing the host and then they're not going to replicate. So the viruses that do that don't survive as much. The viruses that learn this genetic switch are the ones that we see because they're the ones that replicate the most. Yeah, I was blown away, but I didn't know that. I mean, I've been reading this kind of stuff and writing about it for the last 40 odd years now. I didn't know that. So it's, you, have, you have viruses that can um, replicate in the upper airways where it's cold viruses, rhinoviruses, uh, coronaviruses indeed, um, but where it's relatively cool. Yeah. But then when they go down into the lungs where they could infect the alveoli, kill the patient, then uh, the, the viruses don't survive in that warm environment mm. because in the past the viruses that did survive in that warm environment killed their patients from pneumonia. Therefore, those viruses didn't replicate. It's just yeah. quite and obviously that all amazing. fits in with the environmental factors, doesn't it? Because yeah. if you you know if you're it's a hot sunny day, then your upper airway breath is actually pretty warm as well, and so you haven't even got that cold environment in the upper airways. But once the weather outside is really cold then you've really got an environment that they love. Yep, as we all know to our costs once or twice a year when we get, <laughs> when we get, when we get terrible colds. Uh, I'm actually quite mischievous by nature, so I'm, I'm going to ask you a completely unreasonable question. Are viruses alive? Answer yes or no if you'd like to. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not alive on their own. No. <laughs> no. 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 I, I, but I, think, I, think, I was in trouble the other day because I said something about antibodies killing the virus. Like, you yeah. can't kill something that's not alive. I'm like, OK, but, you know, I think people understand the, the meaning that I'm trying yeah, to convey yeah, there. Yeah. If, if it's any help to Paul Nurse, uh, I think he's a Nobel Prize winner, director of the <laughs> Crick Institute. He says viruses aren't alive unless they're actually physiologically active inside a cell and then they are alive. So, OK, OK, maybe I'll give you that answer next time. <laughs> his answer is yes and no. So I'm, I'm happy to go with that. Yeah. It's just one of these fun, fun things, really. Um, 